Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for being here. I thought I was done taping for the Christmas season, but I have had a couple of really wonderful surprises in the last couple of days and I thought I would just get on her really quickly and tell you about them. The first one is, I do not know what this is. I received a shipping statement from FabFitFun saying that I was receiving a box and I thought, what in the world can that be? And we're getting ready to find out. I have seen one other person that got the same email and it looks like she got a starter box. So I don't know if they're just sending out random starter boxes or what's going on, but we're going to get in here and find out. And the other thing is I received a really, really thoughtful friend mail from a girlfriend that I just wanted to say thank you so much for and I'll do that in here too. Let's get into it. While I am opening this up and we are talking about FabFitFun and the fact that I have absolutely no idea what this is or why they've sent it, let me tell you that I did get an email this morning that says that on December 26th, for members, the edit sale is going to open. So mark your calendars if you are a FabFitFun member. December 26th is when the edit sale opens. And you know, the sooner you get on, the more access you have to products first. So while I open it, oh, it's a box in a box. So it does look kind of like a starter box. So this is what is on the inside, and it does look like a little starter box. And it came with a piece of paperwork in it, and it's just a bunch of numbers. But the first three letters before those numbers are STR, so probably starter. So I don't know why they're sending these out, but I am grateful. And let's get into it and see what I've got. I don't know if this was just a luck of the draw situation, or maybe if you had a certain amount of referrals, I, I don't know. But it is a wonderful Christmas surprise. When we open it up, this is what we have, and it looks just like a little FabFitFun box, and it has the paperwork for it, and a cute little bundle of goodies in here that we can open up and see what we got. And I will tell you that the three products that I, three, Welcome to the Christmas stress, people. It is real. The three products that I can see on top are the same as the one that I saw when Patty S. unboxed it. Okay. Whew, we're going to push past all three of those things. And it says, FabFitFun, the starter box. Very interesting. I have, I have never had a starter box. I actually, you know what? It says I, I was online the other day and it said I had starter boxes available. Let me see how many and I will just give them away to the first people below who ask for them. And when you do a starter box, what happens? I'm signing on to my account to see how many I have available. When you do a starter box, what happens is they send you a box like this one and you only pay shipping and handling and within... A certain amount of days. Let me see what I can find for you. Let me read to you exactly what they say about the starter boxes. Okay, this is I have five starter boxes to send, which is what this is, and that they expire on one, two. The first five people that let me know below that they would like one of these starter boxes will go ahead and put one in for you. And this is what happens. You give me your actual name, and your email address. So I think probably if you're on Insta, the best way to do it is to follow me on Insta. It's Catherine McCarty, the same exact name, and direct message me with the information as opposed to putting it below. And then people have your information. So, so let's plan on that. But it says that you just pay the shipping. Each starter box is valued at over $75 and comes with three to four full-size premium products, which offers you a perfect sneak peek of the real deal. All I do is give them your name and email address, and then they will send you an email. You go on and sign up for the starter box. You'll get your box and trial access to all of the member exclusives like TV and shop. So I bet if you did it, my guess is if you did it before the edit sale, you would have access to the edit sale. No hassle. You can cancel your trial anytime within 21 days of signing up. So be sure you mark that on your calendar because if after 21 days you haven't canceled it, I bet you'll get the winter box. And then it says after 21 days, your friend will be auto enrolled in a seasonal membership. So if you have any interest in that, the first five people that let me know below that they are interested in. 
I will put you in. So the starter box booklet does not tell me what is in this box because in theory, they probably use this book booklet for a long time and send a lot of different boxes. But it does say it on the back of this card. It says a note from us and it's just treating me like I am receiving the starter box as a new member. And it says they look forward to having me. But on the back it says what's in the box and it's a total retail value of $162 and it's four products. So I have the leave-in mask from a rock and gold series and any of you who watch my channel know I love this brand. I have purchased this a couple of times in the edit sale. I get the Moroccan Gold Series mask in the edit sale. This is awesome for me because I personally purchase it a lot. And it has a value of $39. And it says, seal and moisture protect against heat and UV damage and detangle hair with this lightweight treatment mask. I love that. Next, I have a Grown Alchemist Hydro Repair Day Cream Camellia Geranium Blossom, and that's 2.19 ounces. I have never had this. In one of our boxes, I did receive, it's been quite some time ago, maybe even almost a year ago, I did receive the exfoliant in this when it was an option that you could either receive this or the exfoliant. And that is what it looks like. It's a nice metal tube. And this says that it is a $49 value. It says the Grown Alchemist Hydro Repair Day Cream is nourishing and non-greasy. It features camellia and rosehip oil to visibly improve the skin's hydration levels and leave skin feeling smooth. Well, I will read the ingredients and probably for sure try this. And if I can't, we'll be seeing it again soon. Next, I have a spongelle or spongel, depending on how you like to say it. It is multi-use. Up here where it says multi-use, sometimes it'll say like eight uses, 10 uses, 15 uses. What it is, is a sponge that already has the cleanser embedded in it. So you don't need this and a cleanser. This feels almost more pliable than the ones I've received in the past. Oh, it smells fantastic. Oh my goodness, what does it say? It is a black orchid. Oh, this is the nicest smelling one I've ever had. And that is what it looks like. And it's just a sponge and it's super hard. And you get it wet and you kind of squeeze it. And usually it's like eight, 10, 15 uses. You can almost always, almost always get these for like half price on the edit sales. This says it is a $16 value. And like I said, you can almost always get them way less expensive than that with the edit sale. It is a body wash infused buffer in black orchid. Cleanse and rejuvenate the skin from neck to toe. The unique surface changes from exfoliating massage texture to as soft as silk when you use it in the shower. And like I said, $16 value. And last but not least, oh, and I got a pretty one. Oh my goodness. It is a Yumi Kim. And what I believe is probably a makeup bag. Oh my goodness. This is so pretty. It's kind of a nylon-y feel, and I got one that's pink and has gorgeous flowers all over it. We are going to Disney World in February, and I cannot wait to use this. Oh, wow, and it even has, it can hang. Definitely taking this. So I can hang it over the back of the door in the bathroom and have all my goodies in it. Love it. Let's see what this says. It says the Yumi Kim Hanging Train Case. This multi-functional train case is complete with a hanger and fold-out pocket for major storage capabilities. $58 value. Wow. So that is what I received in this, what turns out to be a starter box that they absolutely did not tell me why they sent. And that is really a fun surprise. So I got the Yumi Kim Travel Case, the Spun Gel, the Grown Alchemist Moisturizer, and the Moroccan series leave-in mask. That's a really fun Christmas surprise. So if you have any interest in receiving a starter box, like I said, I have five available. So the first five people that let me know below and we'll work out how to get me your name and email address. Like I said, if you follow me on Insta, you can DM me and that way you're not giving your information to the world. And I will pin the comment below when all five of them are gone. Next, I just wanted to take the opportunity to say thank you. Thank you to you guys for this last year. Thank you for being here, for watching my channel, for subscribing, for all of the myriad of supportive things that you say below in the comments. I appreciate you guys so much. And because of YouTube, I have met 
some of the most wonderful people. Some people have channels, some people don't. We just talk through DMs or underneath in my comments. And I feel so blessed to have met so many of you. And one of those people is Jeannie over at Get This Glowing. And I'm going to put her link down below so she's easy for you guys to go over and check out because you need to go check her out. She is fantastic. She is funny and witty. She does reviews and unboxing. She does everything from drugstore to high-end reviews, get readies with me. You've just got to go check her out. You will love her. She's part of the collab actually that I'm doing with Vanessa Beauty, Jeannie over at Get This Glowing, Everything Proof Beauty, and Julie Unboxing. And that actually ends on Christmas Day. So if you haven't checked that out, I'll put the card up here where you can go over and look at that collab. But I just received from her, and I'm not going to go ahead and do the whole unboxing because I decided I felt like it was a little more personal than that. But she sent me a box full of goodies, and I just wanted to take the opportunity to say thank you so much, Jeannie. And she sent me a sweet card, and it's just part of what makes doing this YouTube thing so much fun is meeting you guys. And she sent me, I can't even begin to show you all of the wonderful things that she sent me, but what I still have sitting right here on my desk because I want to play with it is she sent me this gorgeous, isn't that, look how pretty that is. This is a Sephora Pro Neutrals palette. That is just gorgeous. And the other thing that's still sitting here because I want to talk about it is she sent me some of the Tatcha Rice Powder and it's in the gentle because everybody knows how super sensitive I am. And I have actually never tried this. I thought I had tried everything and I can't believe I haven't tried it. I have been wanting to try it for forever. And she sent me that and some other Tatcha samples and some whey products and another palette. She friended me so many things and I just wanted to take the opportunity in front of you guys to say thank you so much. And I love meeting all of you and I appreciate you Jeannie and guys you should definitely go check her out I am telling you you're gonna love her I promise and last but not least I was just tagged I just realized I have no lipstick on I have done this entire video with nothing but balm on my lips wow okay that's not much color but it'll give me a little bit of shine I can't believe I did that okay and last but not least, back to where I was, and last but not least, I was tagged by Janine Holty, who also has a channel where she does beauty reviews and she does clothes subscriptions. She does Stitch Fix, Trunk Club, those kinds of things. She has a Ray Dunn collection that is just awesome. You guys should definitely go over and check her out. I will put her link below too. She tagged me in a Christmas tag. And so I thought I would take this opportunity to do that. I did a screen capture of the questions. I think I've managed to make them big enough that I can do it without my glasses reflecting back at you guys. So the first question, what do you do on Christmas Eve? On Christmas Eve, we still go to my parents' house. We go, a lot of our family goes, family friends, my daughter, her children, some of her in-laws. It's fantastic. It is probably one of my favorite parts of Christmas Eve because for our family, it's probably the tradition that has endured the most. We have done it. I don't ever remember not doing it. And I just love that we get to see everybody and we celebrate and the kids, you know, the littles all exchange their gifts and it's just a blast. Number two, how are you celebrating Christmas this year? You know, in my perfect world, Christmas is one of those things that doesn't change at all. Christmas Eve, we do at my mom and dad's. On Christmas morning, we get up, my husband and I, since our daughter got married years ago, my husband and I get up, we exchange our gifts. And then still very early in the morning, my daughter and son-in-law and children, everybody comes over and I make a big breakfast and we have breakfast and we unwrap presents and we just spend the morning having a blast. And then since my daughter got married, my son-in-law's parents have become some of our best friends, which is just a blessing that I couldn't have even imagined. And so we spend Christmas evening with them. So it's just, it's just all about family. And I hope that never changes. What would you wish for under the tree? Well, my one wish this year and I'm hoping you guys will like it too, is I've asked for a camera setup so that I can do this without the fuzziness, with a little more HD going on so I can do more get readies with me, more makeup, because I feel like it's hard when I do the makeup now for you guys to really see what I'm doing. So this year I'm hoping for a camera, but as a rule, anything is fine. Yeah. 
for me, it's, it's all mostly about what I get the kids, you know, it's all about the littles. And as long as there are littles, that's what it's going to be about for me. What is your least and most favorite Christmas song? Oh, that's hard. Least favorite. I don't love, is it George Michael, Last Christmas? I don't love it. I don't know why. There's just something, I just don't love it. I don't know why. I just, it's not my favorite song. And I feel like, okay, well, if you're over her, why are you writing a song about it? <laughs> I know, it's weird. I don't love that one. My favorite is, wow, there are so many. There are so many. I love White Christmas. I love Bing Crosby singing White Christmas, to be more specific. I love everything Bing Crosby sings, but Bing Crosby's White Christmas is one of my favorites. And I love Mary Did You Know. I can, I can barely say it, much less hear it or sing it without crying. Mary Did You Know is just, and Pentatonix does a version that is just gorgeous. And that is probably, probably one of my favorite songs. Okay favorite Christmas tradition? Well, I probably covered that with Christmas Eve. The whole family together on Christmas Eve is probably one of my favorite traditions. Another one that has become a more recent tradition is when my daughter and son-in-law do my son-in-law's business Christmas party. We keep the kids for that night and it's kind of become a tradition that they come, we do dinner, we go out, we load up on Starbucks treats and a little hot cocoa and we drive all through the neighborhood and we look at all the Christmas lights and then we come home and we decorate a gingerbread house and then we watch Christmas movies and that has quick become one of my favorite traditions. Dress up on Christmas or have a cozy pajama day. Yes. <laughs> we do both. We dress up just a skosh for Christmas Eve because as a rule it involves squirreling on the floor with babies helping them unwrap presents so we're not super dressed. And then when everybody comes here Christmas morning when I'm cooking breakfast and we're unwrapping presents and again we're squirreling on the floor we're still pretty casual. Actually the last few years we've tried to talk ourselves into staying in pajamas. That's a hard get because people are busy taking pictures but as a rule we stay pretty casual and then we dress up again for Christmas dinner. Favorite part of Christmas dinner? Assuming that they mean food. Ooh, it's hard to pick a favorite food. They, we did this at Thanksgiving and it was difficult. I'm just going to go ahead and round it for my lifetime favorite and say I, whatever the potato thing is. I love potatoes. Whether it's a hash brown casserole or mashed potatoes or a scallop potato or I could do like in Forrest Gump where he talks about the shrimp. I could do that with potatoes. So I'm going to go ahead and say whatever the potato dish is being served. I'm not a big meat girl. I don't care so much about meats. I mean, I eat it because you need the protein. But I'm here for the potatoes. <laughs> My daughter sent me a meme the other day. Speaking of which, getting slightly off track. My daughter sent me a meme the other day that said, Are, aren't mashed potatoes just Irish guacamole? I was trying to think of things I could dip in them. Fake or real tree? We did real trees for forever. And then three or four years ago, we went to a fake tree because we wanted pre-lit. And I bought a really nice pre-lit tree that takes like 20 minutes to set up. And it is amazing. You know, when I say set it up, I mean, you know, it snaps together in no time at all. But then you have to shape the limbs a little bit. And, but then it's gorgeous. I have a lot of ornaments that are heavy. And with a, with a real tree, sometimes I used to worry. I would all but wrap the ornament hanger around the limb because I was so afraid things would fall off. And with a fake tree, you just don't have to worry about that. Everything is so much sturdier that it's, I love it. Love wrapping presents or loathe it? I'm going to go with yes again. In the beginning, I love it. It's Christmas. I'm usually playing Christmas music or we have eggnog. Well, my husband has eggnog. I don't love eggnog. I'll have cocoa or something or we'll put a Christmas movie on and we kind of do it together and and then it becomes a chore. More and more presents come and more and more wrapping has to be done and finally you think, are we ever going to get done with the wrapping? So yes, I love it until I'm tired of it and then I loathe it. <laughs> Have you done all of your Christmas shopping yet? Well, yes. Since I am taping this on Sunday the, was it 22nd? The third, yeah, 22nd. As I am taping this on Sunday the 22nd, I'm going to say yes, I am indeed done with my Christmas shopping. If I weren't, I did actually run out yesterday for a couple of things and that is very out of character for me because I like to be done at least a week before Christmas because I find that if I'm not done, I stay focused on the presents and it's hard to just enjoy Christmas watching the movies, making cookies, 
hanging out with the kids, whatever it is that you want to do. If I'm not done shopping, I have something back in here in the back of my head saying, you know what you really need to do? You need to focus on. So I like to get done with all of my shopping a solid week before Christmas if I can. Least favorite part of Christmas. Oh, I, I don't know that I have a least favorite part. You know what I'll say? I'm a little OCD. I like things kind of tidy and neat and everything where it goes and and Christmas tends to get a little <laughs> Christmas tree, all the decorations, and then there's presents, and then the present piles, and that it just, it, probably just the clutter of Christmas, that even when it is a managed clutter, it is still clutter. So that is probably my least favorite part. That said, I love the lights and I love the decorations. It just can get to be too much. Top three Christmas movies. That's hard. Well, I can tell you my number one, without hesitation, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. You have to watch it. You, you have to watch it on your own DVD or on a channel that does not edit it because I will admit there is cursing in it. But that's the funny part because I can, hallelujah, pass the Tylenol is a line that I use. And it's, yeah, that's my favorite movie, hands down. Um, White Christmas. I love the old-fashioned Bing Crosby, Rosemary Clooney, White Christmas. I, everything about it. I can sing all of the songs. I can. I sing all of the songs along with it. And the fellow that plays the general in it reminds me so much of my grandpa that every year I'm just like, <laughs> when they're, they'll follow the old man. Yeah, I'm a crybaby when it comes to that. So that's definitely one. I don't know that I can pick another one. I love them all. I love the Home Alones. Elf. Oh my gosh. How funny is Elf? Um, oh, they're just, they're just too many. They're, I love them all. So I'm going to say top two favorite I can pick for you. White Christmas and National Lampoons. But other than that, I generally, I mean, I even, I even watch the Hallmark movies. Do you think you'll have a white Christmas? I do not. They are calling for the low 50s. So the odds of snow, I would say, are very, very small. <laughs> what is your Christmas wish? Wow. That is a bucket of question right there. I just almost don't know how to answer that question. Obviously, I want everybody to stay healthy and happy. We have some people in our family going through some health trials right now. Sorry guys, I had to stop and self-edit there for a second. We have some people in our family going through some health trials right now. And I wish nothing more than for them this time next year to have a clean bill of health. I know, last question, I'm turning into Debbie Downer, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, but beyond that, health, welfare, peace on earth, I wish, I just wish for happiness for everybody. I know, <laughs> oh my gosh, that sounds so silly, but it's true. Everybody defines happiness and joy differently. I hope that you find your happiness and your joy. We're starting a new year. I love the idea of the clean slate of a new year. I hope that I am blessed to be able to continue my YouTube channel, to be able to talk to all of you out there. I hope that you want to stick around and talk to me. I hope that we don't get bogged down in the black eyeliners <laughs> that come in the boxes that we end up with a million of. And that we can take a minute to remember the things that really matter, like each other, like just being kind to each other. I just, oh my gosh, this has taken such a turn. I want to go back to talking about Christmas vacation. Okay. I just wish for all of you to get what you, you wish for. That's what I wish for. I wish that I could end this on a happy note. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming by. I really appreciate you being here, taking the time to watch me. I'm going to go edit this tag and make sure I wasn't too sappy before I decide whether to post it or not. <laughs> And then I'm off to do fun things like make Christmas cookies. And now we get to make all kinds of Christmas cookies because I make regular cookies and gluten-free cookies and keto cookies. There are so many different kinds of cookies to make to be sure everybody can have something to treat on on Christmas Eve. So I think I've taped almost everything that I have going up for the end of this year. And I haven't received my fashion stuff or my cause box. Causebox hasn't even shipped yet, I don't think. So they are definitely waiting to do their winter season in January, I would say. So we will see how that goes. All right, guys, have a great holiday season. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I have more videos coming out. And I'll see you really soon.
Happy holidays, guys.